This is a 23 hectare demonstration farm to demonstrate a regenerative agriculture on small plots. Uh, we're trying to show farmers, aspiring farmers, that you can make a livelihood on small plots. Well, in 2017, I was living in the United States and I came out here with a group of students, uh, with a professor from the University of Wisconsin, and we hooked up with some of the people here on the farm. And this concept was the brainchild of all of us together. We have, we've been employing local uh, residents. Uh, we have a couple of full-time uh, permanent residents who are from the community who are helping us with this project. And we've been uh, donating food to the local communities, especially during COVID, uh, the food that we grow here on the farm. And, um, and our ultimate goal is to train the local residents how to farm for themselves and how to have their own home gardens and community gardens really to alleviate food insecurity. Our goal is to show young aspiring farmers that you really can make a livelihood on small plots. Um, in addition, we're, we're concerned about climate change. Drought uh, has become a real problem in this area and uh, along with drought we get soil degradation. So regenerative farming teaches farmers how to uh, maintain and build your soil, which is one of our most important resources and is also a great carbon sequester uh, when covered in vegetation. Well, I think if you look at the broader impact and all the people that we've donated food to, we've probably impacted maybe 120 people. Now I feel great and I'm feeling happy because this project, she gave me energy, like she support the villages, she support the people who's got no work and who's got no food. The vision for the project is that it's pretty much self-sustaining. We will likely need some small grants from time to time for capital investments like tools and equipment. But in terms of the actual day-to-day -day running costs, our goal is to have the farm sustain itself.